So I believe space games are an integral part of my channel, I believe that this is something that helped me tremendously to grow up as a content creator here on YouTube, and as a matter of fact, space in general is a theme that I am a huge sucker for. Ever since I was a kid, I tried consuming every piece of space related content that I could, from literature to science, all the way, and especially so, to video games. I'm not sure why, but maybe this resonates with you as well, I just love role playing as this kind of like a hunt solo character, like make my own adventures in space and you know just see what's next to discover, next to do and the next big adventure that I can jump in. Hopefully you guys are of the same opinion. That is why I want to bring you guys on a journey with me today as we explore a game called Star Conflict, a game that actually came out a number of years ago, I played it on launch day as well as several times after that, but for real life reasons I kinda you know took a long break off of it up until recently when the awesome some folks over at Star Conflict actually contacted me to bring you guys this video and I'm actually quite excited to do that because for the past three weeks I've been playing this game all day and uh, I had to pretty much relearn everything from ground up. There's so much content that has been added throughout the years, the game has changed so much since I remember it and I was actually quite taken away by how all of these mechanics and features have changed and there's like new ones added, um, new ships new things to do so obviously I am quite excited about this game so disclaimer alert yes this video is sponsored by the awesome folks over at Star Conflict um, the game is completely free to play and if you do want to support me and this channel you can follow the links in the description box again the game is completely free you don't have to pay anything and if you follow those links they will give you this awesome ship right here that you can use early on it's very useful and uh, it's definitely very powerful and you're gonna get some other goodies in there as well. But the question that you might have right now is, what is Star Conflict? What can you even do in it? Is it like PvP? Is it PvE? Well, the answer to both of those questions is actually yes, you can do both of these and more. As a matter of fact, you have access to missions, including of course the main story campaign, side missions, timed events, there's the PvP arena, skirmish, and there's more in there, including a free play mode that you get to unlock as you level up a little bit, and it gives you access to basically the whole universe, you can travel from system to system, um, some of them are more dangerous than others, but you can do like pretty much anything in them, you can engage in combat, you can uh, go in and just you know collect resources and all that kind of good stuff, so uh, there's many things you can do in this game and I didn't even get a chance to unlock all of these since um, obviously uh, this is like a new account so I didn't get a chance to level up that, that much, but uh, otherwise here is where the ships come into play and I believe that this is like the main strong feature of this game. So uh, yeah, the ships, there's many of them. As a matter of fact, at the time of making this video, I believe that the developer said there's over 240 ships in total, all span within, you know, different categories, factions, subcategories. So many of them are useful in different areas of the game. Of course, the three main major categories of ships are the fighters, the interceptors, and finally the frigates. Now starting with the fighter ships, these are the most straightforward, these are all around good at most of the areas in the game, so um, they are also very beginner friendly. You can go in against most of the content in the game and uh, it's going to fare very well. It has good damage, good survivability, good maneuverability and speed, so yeah, it's just that it doesn't really excel into anything particular. Um, then we have, of course, the frigates. As I was saying, these are like these huge, oversized, massive battleships that are pretty damn wild. As a matter of fact, my favorite type of frigate is the long range that, yeah, just like the name implies, can shoot things from very far away. You wouldn't even believe it how far away a target can be and this thing will still hit it. And not just like for small damage, I mean like they can destroy a whole squadron from very far away. So of course these are my favorite uh, types of frigates. They are very massive, they can, uh, you know, take in a lot of damage. The problem is that they are very slow, both in speed as well as maneuverability, so if there's any other ship smaller that you know gets into your range and even more so flanks you yeah you're pretty much a sitting duck because they can just shoot at you all day and eventually you will be gone if you don't get any support or if you don't manage to escape or defeat them which is almost impossible if something flanks you very close by this brings us finally to the mighty interceptor and by mighty i mean anything but because this is the smallest of the ships in the game but with that come a few perks including the highest 
speed out of all of the ships in the game it has some of the highest damage in the game as a matter of fact and the drawback to it is the fact that it's rather squishy i mean you can't really put that many shields on this thing since it's so small but you can equip it with a ton of firepower and take the targets out before they manage to take you on of course there's ships in there like the interceptors that can go stealth mode that can you know go invulnerable for a couple of seconds there's many things that can change that but otherwise interceptor is uh, considered the ship that requires the most amount of skill since you have to be careful at many of these things that might otherwise endanger your ship and destroy you in the process if you're not being too careful and this doesn't even begin to cover the fact that there's so many other things you have to you know keep in mind like for example you have a crew which kind of acts like a skill tree you invest points in here and it gives you you know stuff like more maneuverability more damage um, reduced overheat for your weapons and all that kind of stuff um, there's a ton of other slots as you can see right here there's weapon slots there's ammunition slots missile there's a special module that each ship has and you can uh, change this as you level up and this is like your special ability that you can use maybe it increases your firepower it disrupts enemies attacks makes you go invisible um, there's also the active modules which can also further purchase and upgrade just like the ones in the weapons category and uh, they give you stuff like shield regeneration or you know uh, weapon regeneration or ammo regeneration replenish rockets and all of that and uh, yeah there's a lot of stuff for the engines capacitors all of these modules that you can install to further buff up your ship Anyway, I think you got a gist of it, so I'm going to jump in in a few missions, maybe some free play and some PvP stuff as well to show you how this game actually plays. As you can see, I'm playing with this interceptor right here. This is really awesome looking and it's quite end game. So this is something that I've unlocked in the Jericho category. Of course, you have to uh, um, go in. If, if you want to in unlock many of these ships, you have to unlock the previous ones. So as you play with many of these models, you will unlock their more powerful versions and eventually other more powerful versions in there as well so let's start with some of the battle modes and i want to go for example in a random mission let's start with that and kind of go over the basics and uh, you can basically choose your ship at the start of the game you have your loadout of four slots right here that you can uh, put you know different ships in and uh, every time you respawn for example if your ship was destroyed if you respawn you can switch between your loadout and go with a different ship if you think that the current one that you have is not not suitable for the encounter that you're doing so there's a bunch of fighters um yeah my my teammates are actually way more powerful than i thought so generally i'm the one that's tough but yeah look at this look that that guy is dead he's toast bam rocket in the face <laughs> This is so fun to play with an interceptor that is why this is my favorite and i can shoot like rockets for days well they are depleted now but this is a very spammy build normally you can't really shoot this fast but i've tuned everything to be as spammy as possible high damage so that nothing survives and just overwhelm enemies this is what i'm doing and you you will see other different types of uh, you know weapons in this game like rocket launchers ouch and of course all with different rarities you can get like legendary versions some of which i also have on my ship that guy just died so easily but man these guys are getting made i mean jesus that guy is toast this guy is gonna be soon like he's mine this is a destroyer tough luck on him he didn't have any support to back him up in pvp it's completely different though player enemies they know their thing like there's people who have played since day one have everything maxed out and will absolutely ruin your day fight number two and there's oh there's some big ones coming in i think that these are aliens yep they are Oh, they look so sweet, dude. We have to we have to test one. Oh, look at that. Elite Hunter. Doesn't look elite to me. <laughs> and victory. There you go. Okay, so this is Operation Crimson Haze level 4. Hopefully, this is gonna work uh, nicely. This is another long-range frigate. Oh my god, dude. This is awesome. I can basically just take down enemies from very far away by just melting them with this oversized beam. Okay, let's go. Let's go. I'm just... Dealing damage all over the place. Everybody's down. <laughs> Look at this guy. <laughs> He's just getting melted. Oh, somebody else has this. What? Stop, please. Yeah, a smaller ships can get this type of weapon too, but mine is, of course, <laughs> way bigger. Way more powerful. Dude, this is like middle school again. I'm just frying ants. Well, except these ants are, you know, other people in space with families and, uh, yeah, maybe... Maybe not just really ants, but yeah, even the ants had families. 
I unfortunately don't have any rockets. I have this green thing that explodes out of me. I haven't yet figured out what that does. I mean, after all of this time, I still don't know what this is. Oh, this is an enemy. <laughs> what? What was he doing there? All right, all right. I'm really curious how well I did. I probably did garbage, even though it felt like I did good. And I got some clearance points. Nice. Oh, man. Okay. Yeah, I, w I was fearing this was the case. My efficiency is almost the lowest. I have the lowest amount of assists. Well, except this guy, which is at zero. Wait. He has 10 kills. I have 22 kills, yet he has like three times my amount of assist, I mean of efficiency. And this guy is just off the chain, so I'm gonna like give him a plus. But it's time to go into the free play mode. So this is like the map of solar systems you can explore. Um, you can zoom in and there's like multiple of these. And some of them are really high level, so it's uh, not something that you might want to do. Like jump in like... A, really high level solar system because everything destroys you so zone difficulty high i'm gonna go in a high threat one just so i can see what's happening so i haven't been in like 99 percent of these systems this is dreamland wow okay damn well colored me impressed let's go baby what's happening oh no i'm too low level i wasn't supposed to be here or was i I'm doing a ton of damage, and as you can see, he's uh, way too powerful for me, so um, I might have done a mistake by coming here, so I'm just gonna run now. <laughs> All of my things are on cooldown, by the way, but man, this is gorgeous. This is a gorgeous place to die in, and this guy, this guy is gonna get my revenge right now. There you go. <laughs> I'm gonna grab his loot. So now that I've done that, I think I can finally teleport to a more safe destination. So yeah, this has been it, guys. This has been Star Conflict. Definitely go ahead and check it out. It's free to play on Steam. And again, follow the links in the description box to get that sweet, awesome beginning loot and ship. And also support me and this channel in the process. I'm gonna see you guys in the next one, so peace out.